Hey everyone and welcome to Almost Cancelled, I'm Peter, that is Connor and we are going to talk about The Gifted Season 1, Episode 4, it is called Exit Strategy, full spoilers for the episode as always. So, this this is basically the, prison break seems like an odd, odd phrase for it because I'm not really in the prison at the time, but it's still, it's the, the, the great escape, it's the, yeah. we're going to get Reed, we're going to get Polaris and we're going to bring, her back, bring them home safe. Which uh, is kind of surprising. You think it's surprising? Why is it surprising? I mean, I th- it, it felt like this was going to be the, the season plan to me. Okay. So I think them doing it now kind of surprises me. I'm like, okay, so where where is it going plot-wise for the rest of the season? Uh, Yeah, no, I can see what you're saying. I, I'm not super surprised. I feel like when it started, I went, yeah, four episodes sound, seems about right. Mm. No, I, I get it. I just, it, I feel like I don't know what the overarching plot in terms of you know the, the what what's the goal for the rest of the season now? Uh, I, I guess we'll set. Obviously, we've we've got Turner who's going to be more determined than ever to t- hunt them all down. Yeah, uh, and we'll, we'll have that side of things. I, I think the idea of the family not going to Mexico and staying back because they want to actually assist and help fight, like you know may, maybe Reed's knowledge, given his uh, you know his job. No, no, I get you. Th- these are all things that will happen, but yeah. they don't tell me what their their goal is going to be. Yeah, uh, but I, I guess we'll maybe start to set that up. I mean, maybe you could look at it as almost a little like shield where we've got these arcs and you know we've kind of finished off mm. the first no, that's little true. arc and we'll maybe set up the next one next time. Because obviously we've got this doctor guy who wants the the kids. He's he's deeply interested. There's none of him this episode actually, but we know yeah. that's in play. Uh, so I don't know. So I, I guess maybe we'll have a new incident next episode or something that'll spur things ahead. Or, or maybe not next episode. Maybe it'll be the one after. Maybe we'll have like a sort of cam cam it's episode. A breather, yeah. No, that makes sense. You know, maybe, you know, maybe it'll just be about the decision to stay with the underground and not go. Yeah. Uh, or you know, maybe we'll actually have a few episodes where we'll go through the the idea that they are leaving and they'll be setting up them leaving and going to Mexico, uh, yeah. which potentially could be tedious because we kind of know deep down that that's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I think that could be a problem. If they do that for like two, three episodes and then all of a sudden they go, actually, we're going to stay, it'll kind of maybe ring hollow because we're like, well, yeah, obviously. Yeah, I think if they're going to do that, I think I'm okay with them going through the motions for an episode as long as at the end of the next episode, if this, this was, if this is what they're going to do, one of them makes the choice at the end to stay, even if the other, the other parent's not convinced at that point, like one of them mm. has to make the choice at the end, and it sort of sets us in motion of no, we're not just going to go straight there. We're at least going to have a debate about it, and then it yeah, becomes yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. Because I, I think the the story of them deciding to make the choice to stay is uh, potentially good. That's a potential. Yeah, I, I think it's definitely idea. worth telling that story. Yeah. I just think they've got to be smart because it's one of those, like you say, we know where this is going to end up because they can't just leave because they're the show. So it's got to be done smartly to not make it seem just tedious, like you said. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, Kate's got nurse skills, which has proved useful already in a very yeah. short span of time because they don't have any healers. Uh, so you can see what their, their, their worth will be. In fact, one of the things I liked about this episode... Uh, now, obviously, I expect eventually for... for uh, What's his face? Andy. To control his powers on his own. But I do kind of like the idea that the brother and the sister kind of have to work together to actually make his power useful, because otherwise it's just completely destructive. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it's a nice idea. Yeah, it's simple enough. She just sort of bubbles around his thing so it doesn't destroy yeah, everything yeah, else. Yeah. That makes enough sense. Her, her using a brain again. Well, he doesn't have one, so... Yeah, exactly. Someone's got it. He's a whiny little bitch. <laughs> He's a whiny little bitch in this episode again. He's still the worst part of the show. Yep, just kill him off. Uh, we have a wait. Oh, see if he does go full villain, and that's kind of where we go. Uh, at least then we can maybe like kill him at the end of whatever. I mean, I, I wouldn't be this season, I don't think. But I say he he turns to the dark side for the end of the season, and season two is him as the villain. Like we could kill him at the end of season two. See, I like that in theory, but mm-hmm. I don't think I could take him seriously as a villain. Maybe it'll be better because he's because we're meant to hate him. I don't know. <laughs> but, but you're not hating him for the right reasons. You're still going, no, you're an annoying little bitch. Shut up. He's chewing the scenery, uh, as he does. In fact, he's not even chewing the scenery. It's not even that kind of bad. It's not. It's just bad. It's just unconvincing. Yeah, maybe he'll grow into it. He's young. Yeah, he is, he is. Actors get better. Maybe he'll have acting lessons or something between episodes. Maybe he's getting acting lessons right now. Maybe by the time we get to the end of the season, you know, those acting lessons will start to pay off. 
Oh, one can hope. <laughs> So, uh, we started with a flashback again, kind of like we did last week, although I liked last week's way more. Uh, this this one, uh, it, was, it was okay, it was basically like there was a, a prison break at one point at one of these centres, uh, back when it was, as they point out, a lot more primitive, it was just like fences and simpler kind of things. Uh, and we we had this this other mutant named Pulse, who got, he was sort of shot and they thought he was dead, uh, but obviously it pops back up later in the episode under under the uh, the Sentinel's control. Uh, whether because or not of he, course. Whether or not he's actually turned sides or they've actually got some way of controlling him in a more... Uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. It, it could be, you know, he's turned sides, like, oh, they left you for dead. He might as well mm. do this sort of thing. That would work. But I think it's more interesting if they've got a way of controlling him because then I want to know how. Yeah, and why aren't they just using that on other mutants? Like, is it a difficult process? Is it, you know, what, what's right. the, 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 I right. mean, we know it was two years ago they caught him. So, does it take that much conditioning? Like, is that what these detention camps are that they were on the, you know, that Polaris was on her way to? Is it like two years of Clockwork Orange style? Like, right. I think stuff? I think that's more interesting yeah. if it's you know this control because he never really responded that much to Thunderbird, who was maybe his best friend. He just kind of like tried to zombify again. You know, because yeah. uh, they say that when he's doing his thing, and he because he, he basically he can dampen electrical systems and stuff, but he can also dampen mutants because they all all of them lose, lose their powers when they're trying to attack mm. the bus, the convoy. Uh, so when he's doing that, he doesn't even he's even aware because like Thunderbirds like punching the other guard out behind him, and he's not even hearing it. He's just kind of zoned in. Eyes yeah. are all yellow, and he's doing the whole thing. So, uh, no, that's interesting. Uh, and all, it was also kind of fun, just in the sense that their powers weren't working. So Eclipse just pulls out a gun and goes, okay, old-fashioned way then. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he has a gun on him, just in case. Yeah, and then... Pur- he, pur- he, he is Simon Baz. <laughs> he kind of is, actually, yeah, in a lot of ways. Uh, and then you have uh, the Invisible Dude, who we didn't know before. He was like... It was funny, because at the start of the episode, they're like, okay, they're going to move them to this, like, this, you know, mutant centre where we're never going to get them out of, because we don't know where they are, they're, they're going to be heavily fortified, blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. We have to get them before they go there. And they basically take volunteers because some of them are like, nah, we're not doing this. This is too dangerous. This is insane. Mm-hmm. And it's like, show of hands, who's actually with me? Who's going to help? And sure enough, it's it's going to be uh, Blink, who we know. It's going to be Dreamer, who we know. Thunderbird, he's already in. He's actually he's already in the side of like telling them to yeah, do yeah. it. So he's, he's not voting necessarily. But it's all the main cast, all the ones we've been introduced to are the ones that are putting their hands up. And then it's this one other guy that we've not never really seen before. I'm like, okay new guy is he a red shirt and sure enough he gets shot and i'm like oh maybe he's just a red shirt maybe he's going down uh but he seems to survive though they, they, they take him away in a portal at the end uh, one of blink's portals so uh you know, yeah so, it seems I, to be okay for now until uh, we see otherwise i assume we'll, we'll get get more of them as we as we go so uh yeah so so most of the episode was building up to the escape and it kind of breaks down into a, a sort of three things obviously you've got polaris and you've got reed in prison uh, and of course, the look in her face when she sees that he's behind bars is uh, quite amusing. It it definitely is. Yeah, and it, it gets gets a little bit intense. She she like he he's trying to explain that he's kind of regretful. <laughs> he's basically trying to apologise for everything he's, he's ever basically, done. Basically, yeah, but my kids. <laughs> yeah, but my kids. But he's he's but basically he's like, oh, if you broke the law, it was kind of on you. You're obviously a bad person. But he's now kind of realised that that it doesn't really work that way. Like his kids have just been prosecuted, even though they didn't. Literally nothing wrong, but the the way the law is written, it's just letting to prosecute them the, the second they do powers in public. But uh, the second they do powers, the second they do powers, yes. And she does not give in easily. She she basically starts to describe every single family he's ruined. So I ask for their forgiveness, and then just gives them the cold shoulder, and it's like, oh, okay. Uh, but as they're in the, the convoy and stuff, he's like, okay, like you don't have to forgive me, but if we get a chance to do something. Are we going to do something? And she's like, mm, fine, we'll do something. Bye. Yeah, but of course, it, it, it does that little show because it, it helps her fight. And then he's like, oh, our collar gets pulled off in the the scuffle, and she's like, oh, I got my powers back. And he's like, oh, can you get us out? Well, no, everything in here is like built to, you know, it's all plastic. You know, it's magnetoproof. Yeah, uh, I I like that someone called her Magnet Girl at one point in this episode. That yeah. was quite funny. I also like the idea that they had these vans lying around from Magneto. I was like, <laughs> was like oh, yeah, we planned for this already. Yeah, we already... He, he was, like, you know, public enemy number one for years, so, we, you know, we had stuff built to contain him. Exactly. Around the place. Uh, but, yeah, so he's like, oh, I've got a metal pin on my knee. Take it. 
so she does, and it's, yeah, it's just pretty she, cool. Yeah, she does. It was funny because I thought this episode was very light on effects for the first like <laughs> until you get to that last like ten minutes or so. And then it was all effects. It was okay, right? They were saving their budget for this last ten minutes. So that's fair enough. <laughs> I get yeah. it. That's fine. Uh, so no, nah, so that that was that, that was fun enough, and I, I think. Uh, she'll even maybe stick up for him a little bit now because they've went through this. Maybe not. I, I, I mean, she'll still be angsty, I, I have no doubt. But uh, Yeah, she... this will be like a trust thing, though. It's like, no, you, you let me pull those pins out, put you in physical pain, left you crippled. Uh, so, I, yeah, I mean, she'll probably go, okay, may, maybe maybe I can trust you a little bit. Crippled's a bit harsh. Uh, uh, all right, crippled <laughs> in the sense that he's going to struggle to walk. Yeah, he'll, he'll have a limp. Right, right, but just <laughs> in the sense that he's going to be slower. He's, yeah, sure. you know, if it comes to running to get out of there now, he's left himself in a significantly weakened position. And he can get more pins. It's not like he, that can't be redone. He, he can, but not in a firefight. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. But this is, I'm just saying, uh, crippled is, yes. All right, all right. M- maybe a poor choice of words. I was exaggerating a touch for, for dramatic effect. <laughs> but, see, see, when, see, when you stub your toe, do you yell, I'm a cripple for like five minutes I, until I it's better. I probably do with a stubble yeah. toe, because that okay. hurts like a bitch. <laughs> like, oh, no, no. I don't I know. I need this the, I need this disabled badge from my car. I'm, I'm crippled, I can't move. I'm, yeah. I'm just sitting here forever. <laughs> yeah. So someone comes up to like get you a, to give you a ticket. Why are you in the disabled parking spot? Oh, I stubbed my toe. I'm in pain. <laughs> Please, <laughs> exactly. officer, have sympathy. <laughs> do, you, do you know what? You joke, but Stubbing your toe is extremely painful, and I think any reasonable officer would understand and be like, "I'll let you off this one." <laughs> oh, sure, aye, aye. Uh, so yeah, so that that was that side of things, and then the other two sides of things. Uh, well, we'll kind of split into three actually, because I'm I'm kind of brushing over Blink's uh, dream memory of a uh, Thunderbird that that was planted last episode. Yeah, I was right in that. Okay, it does kind of fade. Yeah, it seems to be kind of fading. It's, she thinks she's a dream. She's not really sure if it happened, and it's she's dreaming yeah, about it. it. It's the effects of the feelings are there because she thinks it's real, but she's not sure. And, and but even if it's not real, it's like, well, she's dreaming about him, so she must have feelings. So far, I'm okay with it because I actually kind of like the unique awkwardness to it that Thunderbird knows it's fake, and he's just kind of like awkward about it because he's like, yeah, you've kind of got feelings for me, and you can tell, like, you can tell that she's kind of feeling those things, but he knows it's bullshit. He knows it's fake. Yeah, it's it, unique. It's, uh, like, it's different. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's it's kind of doing the love triangle thing, but it's at least putting a different spin on it, where it's like two of them know that the other one's just got fake feelings. So it's <laughs> kind of it's like, and Dreamer can't even be mad that she fancies her her boyfriend or kind of boyfriend you know well they want the boyfriend because she did it she did it yeah yeah <laughs> so uh it's, it's a, at least a slightly different setup than normal uh obviously we had the kids uh them l- learning to sort of like focus the powers together so they could you know blow up the tire for the bus so they could stop the yeah. convoy uh the main thing there though and i kind of saw this coming but it makes a lot of sense i kind of think i would have as much as i don't know if i necessarily wanted to have the scene of the mother saying no you're not going anywhere near uh like a, a mission like you know you're, yeah. you're my kids you're not doing that i i think i would have called it out if they didn't do that because it does it would it would make no sense if their parents said it's one of those where the scene itself's kind of boring going through the motions yeah but it's got to be there because otherwise it's just weird that it's not there but yeah it's hard to make it interesting it would feel so unrealistic and I, you know i accepted the compromise which is like, okay you can you can do the thing you can blow out the tire but it's the second you've done that you're leaving you're going away you're, you're not going yeah. into the fight you're not doing that stuff it makes sense to me that uh you know no parent would willingly be okay with oh yeah you go on this dangerous mission against all these armed people yeah you do that it would be a bit weird wouldn't it of course they're very eager uh obviously it's something she's, she'll have to listen up about as the show goes on i imagine as they become more useful with their powers yeah probably maybe once they're a bit better i mean specifically the the younger is a bit better it'll be like well you <laughs> not can, andy you can... not the boy the younger <laughs> the younger he doesn't deserve a title uh you know just maybe once they can defend themselves a bit more it's like well i mean you you can handle yourselves maybe it's not too bad hmm could we not have like let them take him like you know we get read back and then they kidnap Andy. Well, this is why I really want him to die at the end of the season. You know, the tragic death, and it's like, right, mm. we need to stay and help and make sure this doesn't happen to anyone else. Yeah. That'd be a good motivation for the rest of them. Uh, maybe. I could see it. I and, you know, it. it gets rid of him. So, <laughs> two birds, one stone. 
Yeah. Uh, and of course, the other thing, and this is maybe the, the main plot of the episode. Obviously, I mentioned the flashback was about weak, but uh, I never even said why it was about weak. It was uh, the flashback with the escaping and then the guy getting shot was just weak because I felt like it was a scene that was just going through the, the cliched like sort of beats where. It's like, oh, oh something's uh, gone wrong. I'm, I'm going to go closer to use my power, but don't worry, I'll be right behind you. It's like, oh, well, he's gone. <laughs> okay, yeah, fine. Yeah. yeah. It was all just so telegraphed. It was. Uh, but the, the, the plot I wasn't so much feeling was the Eclipse to get the information of where this convoy, you know, what route the bus will be taking so they can actually intervene. Mm. He's, he's got contacts in the cartel and he goes because to speak. Of course he does. He goes to speak to. Uh, well, he goes to try and speak to the boss, but he ends up with with his daughter, who he used to date. So we have all this weird tension, and she's like, kind of toying with him and being very flirty and a very kind of like, you know. The, the, there were moments of this that I liked, like you know when when he, when he kind of admits what what he's there for, who he's there to save, and she's like, oh, so this is about the girl you dumped me for. Uh, it's okay. like yeah, it's like okay. It's it's cliche, but at least I can see fun in that. Yeah, I'll, I'm glad she because when she said, "Oh, like you'll do anything to like get this information," I was like, "Oh, don't make him do something sexual," because I I feel like it's just again it's forcing a sort of love triangle thing where Polaris is going to find out later and it's going to, it's going to be yeah, weird. Yeah, and, and that becomes a bit rapey. I actually did kind of like the interrogation scene though. I like the idea that he just he just threatens to blind the guy. He's like, "This will blind if this is exposed for you for however long. This is going to blind you for life." It's a pretty good threat. I liked it. It was nice and simple. It was. And also, you know, he's a good character, so he doesn't want to do this kind of thing. And he tries to tell, to get, just give her what she wants. I don't, I don't want to have to do this. But you believe him. He's like, he's not just saying that because he's tired. Or, you know, because normally when you get a scene like that where you, they've got someone captured and the torturer's like, oh, I don't have to do this. But you just tell me. It's kind of just like, oh, you always say that to start because you know, <laughs> or whatever, or because right. It, it's like, well, might as well try the easy way first. Yeah, or it's just because you know it's your job and you've had a long day. You don't want to go through the whole thing. But he genuinely feels like he doesn't want to do it, and then yeah. it's like, and I think it's more from from most torturers. It's just you know, it's like maybe the threat's enough. So they try, ch- just check first. You know, maybe they'll break really mm. easy. It's like just the threat of this and being in this room is enough that you'll break. Yeah, but she. Uh, so that, that's uh, Carmen. Her name is or his ex. She, uh, she's like, oh well, this isn't just a one-time thing. Like, you know, if, if I call, you come running. So we're going to deal with these people again. Now, I am kind of looking forward to the potential of uh, like all the mutants just kind of been like, well, let's just mess up the cartel. Then <laughs> we we can do it. Yeah, I, I think that could be interesting because obviously it sounds like the cartel are much bigger organizations. Like, okay, mm. yeah, you you give for this bit of them, but what if they retaliate? I think I think because obviously they mentioned they smuggle in drugs and she she's like oh is is it any different from you smuggling out mutants? I wonder if we get to a point where we find that they're doing something even worse than that. Like if they're if they are smuggling in people for like a bad reason or something, or you know they're, they're engaged in something proper sketchy, where they decide to be heroes and do something about it because of what they're doing. Mm. Uh, oh, I see. That could be interesting. I could see that being a thing. Um, I just wasn't down for the, the, most of the scenes in the club. Uh, I'm hoping that if we, when we do come back to these characters uh, later, that it won't be as, um, you know, time sinky. Like, it'll just be like setting up the plot details we need and then we can move on. Because here it was, because we were introducing her and it was all this power play stuff in the club and I just, I felt like... Yeah, I, did, I, look, I, I like the episode as a whole, but it, mainly because of the ending. And I felt like some of this episode felt like, okay, we're just spinning our wheels till we can get to that. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I liked the episode overall, uh, for the most part. No, no, I do as well, but like I say, some of this stuff, it felt like, okay, would this have been so long in another episode? Yeah, that's fair. If they weren't waiting to get to that, would it, like, you know, we could have cut down a bit quite easily. Yeah. So, so the, the Carmen Club stuff was the kind of the sour point. I mean, the Flob and Flash wasn't great, wasn't great, of course, but it was the, the Carmen nightclub stuff that I was I was pretty down on. I, what I did like, though, is when he first gets there, and the, the bodyguard's outside, uh, he pulls out the gun and Marcos puts his hands up and he's like, no, no, shut your fists. I don't want you pointing those palms at me. And I thought that was quite funny because, you know, obviously... I know like, who he is. Yeah he, yeah, he could actually just shoot something from his palms. So I thought that was actually quite a good little... Well, it was. Good little idea. Because it's funny because I feel like you could have revealed that sort of same kind of joke in a serious situation where, like, a cop tells him to put his hands up and he actually does it. 
but this was kind of funnier because the guy just knew who he was. He's like, no, no, don't, don't you do put don't, you, put those don't, don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that was a good funny moment. That was a little kind of like, oh, he knows exactly who he is, right? So yeah, and it kind of sets up just who he is around this place already. Like you know, even just the you know the doorman know who he is. So mm. kind of at some point had a reputation around here. Yeah. Yeah, so it kind of sounded like he fell into this life that he wasn't particularly happy with, and then the mutant cause came along and kind of yeah redirected. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the impression I got. Yeah, so so no, yeah, so uh, obviously Polaris, when she gets out of the truck, just like makes everyone's guns fly away, and uh, Turner just runs away with his tail between his legs. As as you to expect. be fair, I, I don't blame him. <laughs> yeah, she's actually really powerful. Like, Mane- the meteor power is a very powerful ability. Especially against you know, lots of people with guns because they think because that's tip. Most weapons are made of metal. Yeah, I, I like metal is such a, a common thing. Like you know, because it's not just oh, it's just one specific metal that they can control. If it was actually just oh, it's only magnetic metals that they can control, it would be, it'd be all right. Power still, but you know, applications are limited. I like it though because this like cause, I mean, regular telekinesis is cool and all. But it is so powerful, whereas the idea of limiting it to one type of material, even if it's as broad as metal, because metal is a fairly broad thing. It is, but it, it gives it still a defined rule. Yeah, and I like rules. I always talk about this with uh, on Screams After Midnight when we're talking about horror movies, but it's whenever there's supernatural involved, whenever you're talking about like Freddy Krueger or you're talking about ghosts or something, I'm always a big fan of rules. I hate it when it just feels like anything can happen at any point. It's why you hate magic. Exactly, yeah. I don't particularly hate magic. I, I like... Give me school for mutants more, you know, hog, rather than Hogwarts every time because with the mutants, as much as they all have different powers, each one, like, they all have their own thing that they do and I understand the rules for each one uh, and it potentially gives them fun things when they all team up because you get, like, you know, Blink will make yeah. a portal, they'll jump through it and then someone else will fire something and then, but you get it, so I like that. I'm a fan of rules and I feel, I feel like giving it that limitation makes it not, it's still very powerful, but it, you know it's that kind of thing where okay, there, there there is a way you can combat it. You, know, yeah. you can go right plastic. Yeah, Whereas, we're, we're, in a, we're in a box, but there's no metal. Oh, but wait a minute, I've got a metal pin in my knee. So like, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, you gotta get inventive. Whereas with telekinesis, it's just like okay, well you can do anything you want. Nothing I can do to stop you. Yeah, yeah, you just make the whole van explode like that. Sort of, yeah, and I say exactly. explode. I don't mean literally explode. I mean just kind of like more, more, more of a break apart, like expand yeah. and break apart kind of idea. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so no, it's it's, it's uh, so I like I like that element of it. So I thought it was a pretty solid episode. Obviously, we I think the nightclub stuff dragged on a little bit, uh, and I'm not super because I feel I feel like the Carmen character was just kind of there to be I'm evil and sexy, and I'm going to be evil and sexy all episode, and I own you. Like, that that was kind of her thing all episode, uh, and I I was kind of like I got the point after like a minute. I didn't need to have. No, you know, no, I'm with it. I I think. I think it's an interesting episode because it obviously it kind of changes the goals now. Like we've got what what this first four episodes has been about is complete in terms of you know getting the characters back, mm. everyone's together again. So I'm looking forward to seeing where the show goes now. Like okay, what what do we do next? Yeah, I expect some resistance in the base when they sort of introduce Reed and they're all like, wait, he's a prosecutor to, like against our people. Yeah, uh, yeah. I expect some tension maybe, there. Maybe some of the, the rest of the base, you know, they want them to go to Mexico. It's like, no, just get him away from us. Yeah, yeah. But a couple of them might see the benefit of keep, keeping a nurse and someone who has an insight into how yeah, we're Yeah, because they didn't necessarily want, you know, her to stay around until she was like, oh, okay, she's useful. Yeah. And obviously the kids are mutants like them, plus they, they have also proven to be useful. Uh, yes. The one elder one the especially. Other. We can't help ourselves, can we? Oh, uh, no. I, I, Andy's going to be the butt of the jokes for a while until he gets Stops better. So or maybe shit. or maybe it's just a case of... Yeah, maybe if he does go evil, though, like the character will change enough that he'll fit into that better. You know, it's like... Maybe maybe it'll just be till we get bored of how bad he is. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Because at the minute, it's still like, wow, so bad. Whereas th- that's got to wear off eventually, right? It wasn't as bad. This last episode was definitely the worst of them, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, but he didn't have as much yeah. to do in this episode. Exactly. So he yeah. was very limited on his screen time. Absolutely, yeah. So, uh, But no, so it all built up to one big action scene, but the big action scene was mostly pretty fun. Uh, yeah. I especially like, like Blink and Thunderbird running around like in the buildings next to it to try try and get Elena's sight so she could do the portal thing. Uh, yeah, that was which, fun. 
the comments have kind of informed us actually by the way that that i mean that is not a typical blinks thing that is just purely... yeah i didn't think it was yeah because i've always associated that with nightcrawler um, yeah same and it seems like they've just added this limitation and well again i like limitations uh, i wonder if this is something she'll grow out of maybe over time she'll get more powerful she'll get more confident yeah, maybe uh, I, I think i think it's a weird one because teleportation is already its own limitation isn't it it's like well you can teleport but once you get there you've still got to be able to do something Oh, of course, yeah. It's, it's... So it doesn't necessarily need the limitation in the same way, other than as for a character arc. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think I think the idea that she could still like, teleport inside a wall is still a, a good limitation. Uh, but I think the idea is more that if she's already been somewhere, she's good. Like she doesn't. Like there's no distance limitation or anything like that. If she if she's been to a place before. Yeah. She can go back yeah, there. I'm, I'm with you. Uh, so yeah, but I, I guess it makes it too easy for them if she can just keep teleporting them back to base every single time there's an issue. Yeah. So they're, yeah. they're, they're at least nullifying her a little bit for now, uh, but maybe they'll get more. And I, I do on. feel like it has to be something that they grow out of because otherwise, I mean, it just gets a bit tedious almost. If it's like, well, we could just get her back to base, where you know, like sometimes yeah. it'll get to a point where it's like, well, we want to just get back to base because you know we're done here. This isn't important, and it's like, okay, now we're gonna go through the motions every time. It was funny actually, see, because she's the first one that her power. You see her power's not working, and for a second I thought, wait, is her power still acting up? Because obviously we had that episode where her powers were going. Yeah, hey, I was thinking, oh, is this to do with like maybe maybe you know the memory. Whole, yeah. yeah, the memory thing is like, okay, is she real like losing confidence in herself because of this? But then it cut to like one of the other really cut to Marcos or someone and he couldn't do his powers like, Oh, they've got something to dampen the powers. Yeah. Uh I never got it was a person though. I actually thought it was just like a I thought it was gonna be a error. device, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I think it's it's her and it's Thunderbird who confirms it straight away. Because, you know, he's there as well. He's like, No, I can't track either. That's right, yeah, he does, he does. And, uh, and then and then you cut to I think it's the invisible one because yeah. he just He's, he's running behind them, and you're like, yeah, he, oh. He's, he's, he's got Predator camouflage. That's what it looked like to me. It was yeah. the, oh, you've never seen Predator, have you? No, but I, I don't need to have seen it to know what you're okay, on about. Okay, all right, okay, fine, fine. Uh, but he, he's, he's like, he, he's just sort of walking along casually next to the wall, and he just sort of flickers back into existence, and he's like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I, I think the, the best part is he hasn't realised. Well, they turn and shoot him, he's like, wait, shit, they can see me? Mm. It's, a, it's a great look on his face. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good moment. Uh, almost darkly humorous, uh, just in the it sense is, that he, yeah. he's unaware that they can, they can can't see him. But uh, no, uh, so no, uh, this was I think this was better than last week's episode. Um, yeah, I agree with that. I, I think whether or not it stacks up to one and two, I think it depends on which which parts you're comparing to. I, I think overall it's hard to decide, but it's uh, no. yeah, it's 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 less consistent than those episodes. Less consistent, but maybe has higher highs. Yeah, yeah. I will, I will say one thing I could do with it does have that network TV thing where it does the the little cliffhangers for the ad breaks and the the music sort of ramps up just very quickly before it ends. And mm-hmm. I feel like I felt like the ones on this show, particular in this episode, certainly felt just a little bit unnatural. It felt like the little you know the the, the final statement that set up the little music rise was not enough to justify the little cliffhanger. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm with you. It and was then, almost just like, well, it's here because it's here, not yeah. because we wanted it to be here. I did it a few times, and I thought, yeah, you didn't really justify that little moment. I, I think that's a fair criticism, because I think in network TV, they know they've got these breaks, they know exactly where they're going to be, and they plan for them. And I think it's just a case of planning your dialogue properly so that you're See, the thing. on that I moment. Actually, I actually don't think any of the moments are bad to end like the act, per se. I think the music just treats it as if it's a much bigger thing than it is and that's what's sticking out to me. Mm, okay. It's not it's not that it's ending the like it's if they just played it with like a you know a, like instead of having the little Dun, like it was see if it was just like quiet and it was just like a sort of more subdued kind of like yeah, no, dear moment. That I think that would work just fine, but it's because they're playing up with the music it's just it's it's contradicting the It is. Yeah. The uh you know just the the, the statement that's there. Yeah, the, the, you know the, the the stakes in the dialogue or the stakes in the moment just aren't big enough to justify the little music that plays as it goes to the break but uh, it's just not a huge deal but it was something that was sticking out to me as I was, as I was watching that's, that's it fair. Uh, but there you go so that's that's episode 4 exit strategy still getting those X's in this is a, a nice natural X no it is uh, and they did exit 
So yeah, that's, that's what the whole episode was about. What was, what's next week's actually? Because next week's, I'm sure, uh, is there. Oh, next episode is called Box Then. Okay. That, that I mean, might work very well. Uh, when yeah, you, uh, I want to see the episode for context, but <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not opposed to it. All right. Uh, and I think it'll be fun actually going forward just to see how much they've stretched the title compared to what the episode's about just so they can fit in the X. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what worked well. Fun. We'll see how Box Then works next week. Box Then, I can see it working off if they're all holed up in the base for the whole episode because they can't leave. There you yeah, go, Box Then. That's what I'm thinking. Easy. Yeah, works, works well. Uh, so let us know what you thought of this episode in the comments below. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Get us on Twitter at mailed underscore fuzz for channel updates. If you want to support the channel and everything we do here, go over to patreon.com slash mailed fuzz TV. There is a link in the description. There's a link in the corner. There's always links for these things. I, I, I feel like I never say that enough. I always tell them the address, but I never specify yeah, you the links can go. You, you can just click there <laughs> you can just click this is easy as easy as as so uh yeah go check out that but otherwise that is us so thank you once again for watching keep watching tv have you got any vanilla